So, fair and successfully generated. So, view nyo lamang po itong loan list. Ito po yung makikita nyo. So, ito po yung PRN o yung payment reference number. Ito po yan. Hi guys! So, here are five ways to get your SSS payment reference number or PRN. So, from this, we can now enjoy hassle-free payment in real-time processing of our SSS monthly contributions, salary loan payments, and calamity loan payments. So get your PRN in five ways in this video. First, you can generate your PRN through my SSS or SSS mobile app or using your online account through my.sss. Second, you can request through text SSS by texting SSS PRN followed by 10 digit number, your PIN, and your date of birth and sent to 2600. Third, you can email them at PRN helpline at SSS.gov.ph. Four, you can request via SSS hotline 8-1455 or five, you can request through selected payment collecting partners just present your valid IDs. So, sa first option po tayo, let's generate our PRN using our online account sa SSS. In this video, papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano tayo makapagbayan at makapag-generate ng ating salary loan, calamity loan, online using GCash and payment reference number or PRN. So, dalawang steps lamang ang kailangan gawin. Kung kayo ay mayroong SSS online account, pwede kayong mag-generate ng inyong PRN dito po sa PRN loans. So, once maka-generate kayo ng PRN dito po yan, you can now log in directly to your GCAS mobile app at masettle mo ang iyong uh, salary, calamity, o monthly contributions. Kagandahan dito ay real-time na yung pag-update ni SSS na ating account. Okay, so balik po tayo dito. So, as you can see, may existing na loan type ang account na ito. So, salary loan and calamity loan. So, nakalagay rin dyan kung kailan na, na loan and yung account number. Okay, so try po natin mag-generate ng PRN ang isang loan type. Click lamang po natin ito. Okay, so uh, as you can see, naka-breakdown po dito sa sample na ito. Ang principal, ang interest, at penalty. Kung uh, hindi po kompleto pa ang uh, nababayaran o hindi pa nababayaran yung uh, loan o yung existing loan nyo. So, makikita nyo dyan kung kayo ay may principal, interest, or penalty and yung current due nyo. So, sa ibabang bahagi, enter total amount to pay. So, pwede nyo pong baguhin ito kung ano lang yung capacity nyo to pay. Let's say, uh, kalahati lamang or yung current due lang is maaaring nyo po baguhin yan dito sa iba pang bahagi na ito. So, try po natin. Once na-enter nyo na po yan, just click nyo lamang po itong submit request. So, PRN successfully generated. So, view nyo lamang po itong loan list. Ipansin nyo, dito po natin makikita yung na-generate natin PRN. So, mapapansin nyo, active loans with PRN for the month. So, amount to be paid, kalagay po dyan kung magkain pabayaran ninyo. Yung total obligations and yung amount due. Okay? And then, click nyo lamang po ito, PRN. Now, hindi na po yung makikita nyo. So, ito po yung PRN o yung payment reference number. Ito po yan. Ito yung magbabayad po kayo o kung kayo po ay magbabayad, ito po yung i-enter nyo sa GCash mobile app natin. 
And then, uh, kung mag-over the counter naman po kayo, ito rin po yung uh, ipipresent nyo sa SSS counter. Either pwede nyo pong screenshot yan or i-print. So, sa akin po ay ipiprint po. Okay. So, kung nais nyo pong uh, bayaran din yung existing pa na isang loop, is maaari po, po kayong mag-generate ulit ng panibagong PRN. So, separate PRN po yan. Ang calamity load, ang monthly contributions o ang inyong uh, salary. So, generate po tayo ulit. Ganun rin po ulit, makikita nyo po ang principal, yung interest and penalty in yung current due na pinapabayaran sa ating SSS. So, try po natin bayaran naman dito sa ating calamity load ang current month or current due na pinapabayaran sa atin. And then, submit request po ulit. Again, PRN successfully generated. So, ganun lamang po kabilis. Then, view loan list po kayo ulit. Then, makikita nyo po, nandito na po sa taas na bahagi. Then, amount to be paid. And then, click nyo po ulit ang PRN. Ito na po ulit yung PRN natin sa separate na uh, account na babayaran natin. Okay guys, so since nakapag-generate na po tayo ng ating SSS payment reference number, we can now directly open our GCash application. So that is our first step one. Just open your GCash application. Now, once na-open nyo na po ang inyong GCash application, just click or hanapin nyo lamang po ang Pay Bills. Under the pay bills, hanapin nyo po or click nyo po ang government. Under the government, hanapin nyo po may dalawa po yan. May SSS contributions and may SSS loan RTPL. So since ang babayaran po natin ay ang ating loan sa SSS, so just click nyo lamang po itong SSS loans RTPL. Under loan SSS RTPL, so, hihingin po sa atin ng ating payment reference number. So, as you can see, ito po yung payment reference natin na na-generate natin. So, i-click nyo lamang po yan. Then, i-type nyo lamang po ang inyong PRN. Followed by the account number. Yung account number po natin is ito po yung SSS number natin. And then, individual for payer type, country, Philippines, amount, kung magkano po yung babayaran natin na nakasaad doon sa payment preference number natin. And of course, the email address para po ma-receive po natin yung email notification na tayo ay nakapagbayad na. And then, just click itong next. Okay, under pa rin sa SSS loan RTPL, so you have to, before we confirm, kailangan po natin i-double check yung ating PRN, yung ating account number, payor type, country, and yung email address. Now, once everything is okay and confirmed, na ang mga detalye, just click confirm. And then, may marireceive po tayo na mga messages galing po kay Gcash. So, your transaction to SSS loans are TPL amounting to, kung magkano po binayaran natin, with fee zero. So, tama po, wala po other uh, convenience fee has been processed and your payment will be posted real-time. So, tama po kayo, real-time na po ang, ang pag-posting ni Chikas o ng SSS ng loans na binayaran po natin. So, para ma-check po natin, you may check with your SSS account again. 